Art on Demand is a production of the Cultural Arts Alliance of Walton County, brought to you with support from Alice Beach, 30A.com, and Florida Department of State, Division of Cultural Affairs. While these events are provided at no cost to you, we do ask that you donate what you can by visiting our website, culturalartsalliance.com, in order to help the CAA continue to foster creativity, employ artists, and bring you entertainment, education, and engagement through Art on Demand. We hope you love this virtual event. Hello, and welcome to another Art on Demand episode. My name is Bo Ridley, and I'm thrilled to host the Art of Croquet episode at Neat Bottle Shop and Tasting Room in Alice Beach. I'm the Recreation Manager here at Alice Beach, and I have the privilege of being the ref for our annual Rosé and Croquet tournament for the 38 Wine Festival. Croquet is a game played with mallets that our players use to knock the ball through the wickets and hoops. Generally, croquet is played on a lawn of closely trimmed grass. The object of the game is to be the first to complete the course. So you start here in the center, go through these two hoops, and then we're going to make a right. We go to here, go through this hoop, back to the center, this hoop, then you go back right, through this hoop, head this way. You want to set yourself up to go through these two hoops right here, hit in the stick, and then we're going to go through these two hoops, and then we're going to make a right, we go this way. This hoop right here, back to the center, through this hoop, then you go back right, go to this hoop, then head back here, where we started, final two hoops, and then to win the game, hit the stick. Each team will continuously play until they miss their hoop. Some history behind the game, it is commonly believed to have started in France and grew to popularity in England in the late 1860s. When the Well-Heeled Society played as a leisure activity, croquet regained its popularity in the 1970s in the U.S. and Canada and has grown to what is now today. You can play croquet with as few as two players or with two teams. At our speech, during our rosé and croquet tournament, we wear white, we drink rosé, and we play on Kelly Green in front of the beautiful newly developed beach club. And we do have teams of four, the teams play for a very prestigious trophy, and they also are awarded their very own mallets. My favorite part about being the ref is definitely seeing all the competitive nature. I'm a very competitive person myself, so I'd love to see the competitiveness. Our teams here at Alice Beach do get to make up their own names, and my favorite team has to be the Buffingtons. They have won several years in a row. We're about to head over to Kelly Green to show you how we play here at Alice Beach. I'm honored to introduce you to Mary Ellen and Steve Buffington, the reigning champs. They've also brought their good friends, Chip and Deb to Bartolo. They are going to demonstrate some of the aspects of the game for you watching at home. Once the games are getting ready to start, we flip a coin to see who goes first. It looks like the D Bartolos have the honor. All right. All right, you got two shots. One more shot. Nice. Chip, you have to go here now. Nice. Great shot. All right, Steve. You have two shots. You have one shot.
Back to two shots. Now for those at home, he hit the ball in turn. So he got two shots from doing that. One shot. <laughs> Great shot. One shot. Nice. All right, Chip. Great shot. Nice shot He's going to try and get the two shots. Ooh, close. So Mr. Buffington has two shots. That's one. Has one more. So he went through both hoops, so he has two. So now to hit the post. Who are you guys there? Uh, as you can see, this is a very fun and social sport. So he continues to have two. So he still has two. Continues to have two. Nice shot. Good setup. That's a great shot. Went through the hoop. One shot. Went through the hoop. Great shot. He has the option here to set it up or try to go for the hoop. He chooses to set it up. Another setup. Great shot. Wonderful. All right, Chip has a chance. One. Another one. Now he's got to hit the stake. All right. Great shot. Went through both hoops, so he has two shots. Oh, just outside. He's got one more shot. Good setup. Now all Steve here has to do is get it through these last couple hoops. He's got one. Back 
back to the deep artolas. So she has one. <laughs> so all Mary Ellen has to do here is get it through this last hoop and hit the stake to win the game. And the Buffingtons have won. <laughs> Thank you to the Buffingtons and the DeBartolos for joining me, and a big thank you to the CAA for this opportunity to share the art of croquet. If you like this content and want to see more, visit culturalartsalliance.com and click donate, five, 10, even a thousand. It all helps us out. Once again, I'm Bo Ridley, the Recreation Manager here at Alice Beach, and thank you for joining us. Thank you for experiencing this episode of Art on Demand, presented by the Cultural Arts Alliance of Walton County, with support from AliceBeach30A.com and Florida Department of State, Division of Cultural Affairs. We hope you explored your creativity and learned something new today. As the creative core of Walton County, the Cultural Arts Alliance of Walton County offers support, connection, and access opportunities for all forms of art, every variety of maker, all levels of learners, and especially art lovers. Through performance, funding, and educational programs, the 501c3 organization directly connects the people of Walton County with the broader view, the critical exploration, and the answers only the arts have the power to provide. If you loved this episode, please visit culturalartsalliance.com and click the donate button to give what you can to help the CAA continue to bring you art on demand. And stay tuned for our next virtual event coming soon.